Good day, and welcome to Learning Sim Sunday. Glad you could join us. Today we're going to be talking about radios. And shout out and thanks to Lassie Packs for making that sweet intro. And coming up with the Learning Sim Sunday concept all that time ago. Oh, because I was making coffee, instead of grabbing all of my files, I'm going to take just a moment myself set up here. We need information manual. And here we go. And what else do we need? We need the simple radio link. So you'll find the link to GitHub, your iBob, simple radio standalone releases latest. Uh, it's beginning to storm here, so if I vanish, probably lightning related, uh, hopefully the computer survives. We're just going to keep on trucking because the local power system is pretty good about absorbing hits. There's already an installation video listed there with that link that's posted on YouTube. Was it now, Qter? That's interesting because when I click the FAA link, it's still there. Lightning pod related? Funny. Well, Q Master, if you just Google AIM 4 1 9, then there'll be any number of different resources you can find it at. I was just trying to get everybody a PDF copy of the entire AIM because it's not bad reading. Really cute, Master. Okay. If you click deleted link, will it allow you to grab it? Maybe it's just too long. Maybe it is too long. Giggity. Let's try this. Maybe this will work. All right, part of the fun of doing it live. All right, I'm gonna switch this over. My main monitor. And I'm gonna start simple radio. But here, in space, so, back up here, GitHub link. So when you go to this download link for Simple Radio, it's going to show you release 
bug fixes he's doing, quick change log. And this uh, Drive Bob is part of the Buddy Spike team who puts on 373rd that does the blue flags. Ones that I've been having so much doing. Ones that we spent 16 hours watching previously. Um, talks about all that stuff. Gives a little bit of information about the server. I still haven't been able to make that work, but I'm a little dense sometimes. Anyway, right here at the bottom, DCS simple standalone dot zip. I'm going to go ahead and re-download this just to show you the steps in order. Super easy. Save file. Okay. Bam. Okay. Now I have this. And over here, you can see I've already created a folder where I want to store this. And I'm doing this just for my own personal reference. I can keep all these old versions now. But I know which version is which and where they're, sto uh, where they're stored and installed. So, I open that up. Not today, Isis. I grab all this. I control copy. I come in here and I paste it. From there, I run the installer. Yes, I would like to run that. I pick my, st my install location. So I just Pick the spot where I wanted to install Simple Radio. It does not matter where you put it. I locate. In this case, it's going to be this folder right here that I'm already in. The saved games. I get this question a lot. You only have to have wherever your saved games folder is located. See my file path right there. You don't need anything after it. And then install or update. Uh, originally, I didn't trust the update feature, so I avoided it. I would uninstall, I would I would remove it, and then I would run the installer from the new version. Now you can just run the installer from the new version. Works. Uh, for updating. And then you click install, and about two shakes later, done. When it does that, it creates another folder inside where you wanted to install it, and puts all this stuff. Come in here, right click on this puppy, create shortcut, which you can see I've already done, and then drag it onto your desktop where you can see. Now, when I click that, this pops up. I've got my mic boost centered here in the middle. Seems to be working okay. You, you can, can preview, preview the, the auto. auto. Excuse me, the audio. Rip ears, by the way. Sorry about that. Uh, the speaker boost and then you see this thing for server IP. Well, if we type blue flag here, bam, it comes up with a gadget. If you'll scroll down on this gadget, first on the left you'll notice that a lot of people have this little orange icon. That, these are smart people who are using Crybob Simple Radio. Down at the very bottom of that list on the left side, you'll see DCS Radio IP 5.189.162.17. And lo and behold, that's already in. So we click Connect. And the Disconnect button appears, which means we are connected. Now you click Toggle Radio Overlay, and you've got a radio overlay. Can dim this puppy way down. Doesn't completely vanish, which is nice because then it would just be gone. And uh, there you have it. I'm actually in 104th right now, so I'm going to disconnect from 104th. I'm going to close this down. I'm going to continue hoping that that lightning and thunder not right near the computer in the ass. And I'm going to knock on wood as I say it. Uh, this going again. All right, so I'm going to disconnect from the Buddy Spike, the blue flag server. I'm going to replace this IP with this one. You, you single click a server, and the first thing you see under description is the IP. I'm going to highlight, control C for copy and control V for paste, connect. OK. 
Okay, that doesn't seem to be working. Just hung on connecting right there. So what that tells me is that 104th is not running their server for this, or they are not running the updated server for this. Uh, I'm going to go to the 104th TeamSpeak real quick. It says simple radio is installed. Connect 208 904 And that's set. I'm going to try and connect again. Well, looks like for what I wanted to do, we're not going to be able to use Simple Radio and 104th the way that I had hoped and intended. But that is okay. We can use TeamSpeak to practice the actual talking just as well as this. But I'm not going to clog up Buddy Spike with a bunch of us trying to get in there and just free fly around and burn fuel. That'd be bad. Winters, my best guess. Scat, the gadget is in chat. Buddy Spike gadget, cloud. Good point, though. I should have done this. Here's the gadget. Right there. These people are using the radio. This is the blue flag radio IP. Bam. Love you too, Battle Buddy. All right. Someone was... Chairman. FFS Chairman. Um, Sim Space, Simple Radio. Point 0.5. Installer. Run. This is all you need. Save games. Slash. Nothing after that. So where you figure your save games is at, in my case, it just found it automatically. My save games is default location. So save games slash nothing following. To be more clear, there is nothing following save games slash. It's actually not more clear. It's just louder. But that's it. So as I said, we're not going to be able to use this for the second portion. We're just going to use the TeamSpeak, which you can see in the upper right-hand corner. And I'm going to connect to that TeamSpeak now. And I'm just going to lurk in this channel because I still have voice activation on in TeamSpeak, and that would be super annoying. Under Controls tab, we'll see that I have four selected. I have Radio 1 selection, Radio 2 selection, and Radio 3 selection. And just selecting the radio isn't all that helpful. But Sir Ibob took it to heart, took some feedback, and in the very next patch after that feedback, added Radio Switch works as push to talk. So pushing either of these buttons selects the radio and works as push to talk. Now the common push to talk I have selected, and it's uh on my joystick, as you can see, not the throttle, is for the Huey, because the Huey has a rotary dot, uh, yeah, a rotary knob in the cockpit that you've got to use to select which radio you're talking on. You need a comment for that one. Radio effects on. You can divvy up where the radio channels are coming from. If you want one radio coming in your left ear and one radio coming in your right ear, you can do that. And uh, as forewarning, there's a known bug, which if you've listened to me, using it before it it stutters it, it alternates between two sound channels if two people are talking on two different radios at one time it, it stutters back and forth between the channels rather than blending the sound and scat you should know you have to clear all the flankers all of them it's all up to you whole team on your back though 
Ah, oh, looks like I'm going to have to do some blue flag after like Sunday. So I'm going to close this, and I'm going to close this because I'm not actually going to use them for the rest of this. Now, this is only actually going to continue as long as there's some interest in people practicing radio. That was the only lecture for today. I'm not going to go through and lecture you on how to talk on the radio. You've probably seen or heard me do it before if this isn't your first time here. And if you have not, then you can listen to liveatc.net and you'll get a whole lot of air traffic experience that way. Um, just start trying to mimic the way that they talk and the patter and the flow of the conversations that they have. And most importantly, how quickly they talk. If you listen to liveatc.net and listen for a specific call sign, you'll start to realize that a specific call sign might only make one or two broadcasts on a channel throughout the course of a day. Winters, for helping you troubleshoot with your simple radio stopped working, did you unzip it prior to running the installer? Very critical step, the unzipping. The unzipping and dragging into a regular folder. Very critical steps. I'm going to have a sip of coffee because my favorite's giggity. So, like I said, Learning Sim Sunday only continues as long as somebody is going to be in the server. So I'm going to join 104th. And if nobody hops in my team speak, then this was a very short learning sim Sunday. The oh, I guess one more thing that we can do: semi lecture status. Drag this over. Blow it up. Control F. Four dash one dash nine. My. How you do this? The dues. Checklist of pay. Different. I'm not sure why the, the search function is not working for me, but they have this very handy table of contents right here, and this is all linked. Traffic advisory practices at airports without operating control towers. This is probably the second biggest thing I've heard with people using uh, the frequencies in Blue Flag, is that they're switching to those frequencies expecting air traffic control services, and none exist. Those airports are all to be operated as uncontrolled airports. What that means is pilots self-announce their intentions, and that's it. Cosmic, I'ma catch you for LSS up any second. Then we're going to one specific section. And I will be down into that channel momentarily, Jim. I'm going to finish this up here and then reset my open push to talk on TeamSpeak. Um, there's no substitute for alertness. Number one, very first thing, they didn't even talk about talking. Airport, airport advisory, excuse me, traffic advisory practices at airports without operating control towers. Alpha. No operating control tower. One. No substitute for alertness while in the vicinity of an airport. Always looking for traffic. Airports are busy places. The sky's a big place, but all the pilots still have to go to the same patch of pavement, which means that the area around that pavement gets very busy. Be alert. Look for other traffic. Exchange traffic information when approaching or departing at an operating control tower. 
This is of particular importance since aircraft may not have communication capability or in some cases may not communicate their presence. You do not technically have to announce your position when you're going into an airport that has an uncontrolled tower. Greatest degree of safety is essential that all radio equipped aircraft transmit and receive. So it's essential that if you have a radio, you use it. But technically, you still don't have to. A common frequency identified. See, let's just push this little button here. Bam! We have standard, standard frequencies. Thanks, Viper. So ATC really isn't accurate. It's not ATC. It's traffic intentions would be more appropriate. ATC is just general like, oh, OK, well, I'm going to have ATC on this frequency. You're not. So Red Forces has these frequencies that are appropriate for their aircraft. Blue 4 is the uniform frequencies. Very detailed breakdown of all frequencies is available here. Simple radio IP. Hey, there's another IP right here. I'm going to go ahead and drop this link in chat. You want to play Blue Flag? Very helpful link. Obviously, there's only four important ones here transport and helicopters on the 3 0. Um, A10s tend to operate, or strike packages tend to operate either on an FM frequency or on a VHF AM frequency. Uh, UHF is basically what you use for, for traffic around the airports and for talking to the eye. And they have this wonderfully broken up east and west. And we will open this one up again and you'll see those packs. Well, here's one, two, three, four, five, and six packs. So three and six. If you're operating in this area, you should be on 254. If you're operating in this general area, you'd be on 264. Too easy, right? These frequencies you can find right there. And the GitHub you can find right there. So if you ever need to find these things again, type exclamation point blue flag in my chat and you will be redirected right to this page. Standard operating procedures. There, click this little puppy. How do I blue flag? Well, here's a, a 22 page summary of the rules and standards. And it's in pretty big font, so 22 pages isn't all that big deal. Change log, okay, well, these things are new. Participation, can still register. Create an account, or you can go through the forums. Campaign. Yep. Pick a slot, red or blue. Aircraft availability. These aircraft. If you have an aircraft from here and not from here, you're probably going to be on the red side, which is life. Slot management. Airport. Team, blue or red. Type. And the airport again. Victory conditions. 17 days, it ends at this date time group. Capture everything and you win. Otherwise, whoever has the most stuff, you have more than 50% of all these icons, you win. Little segue into blue flag there while I wrap up my thoughts and uh, make sure nobody else has any other questions immediately pressing. AIM 419. AIM 4-1-9. It's on page 4-1-2. Services available to pilots. Communicating on a common frequency. CTAF, common traffic advisory frequency. The CTAF may be Unicom, Multicom, Flight Service Station, or Tower Frequency, as identified with appropriate aeronautical publications. IRL. You'll find these frequencies listed next to air. Oh God, where am I? 
In Vruska? We are in Vruska. Just pick some place up here. Where are we going? We're going to... Farmington. There's the Farmington VOR, or actually, that's a Vortac. And what do we have here? Fredericton Regional. Red, uncontrolled. Chairman, you can find that in the SOP. Here we have a private airfield, no listed frequency. You should make announcements on Unicom. Redricton Regional, Hotel 88. If you had a GPS, you'd plug in Hotel 88, you'd get to would get you there. You have an airport elevation of 880 feet. You have pilot controlled lighting. And you have a frequency, 122.8. If you tune 122.8, you'll hear traffic announcements from Fredericton Regional, but you'll also hear, oh, disregard, you will not hear. Here. Oh, yeah, yes, yes, you will. I'm speaking out my ass for a second there. 122.8 and 122.8, and you can see they're within 10 miles. So you're going to be making your announcements in the pattern here, and these people are going to be listening and making their announcements on the same frequency. Cause, have you taken the shadows folder out? You have to replace the Starway shadow folder with the vanilla shadow folder, and then you can get in pretty much anywhere. Check the little red icon at the top. Little red icon up here on the multiplayer thing. Try that. It should let you in because I should be running Starways right now. So anyway, that's how you would find the frequencies IRL on a VFR chart. And I'm just actually going to close all four of them out. You can read through that AIM-419 and find the standards. And I'm going to operate in the F5 because that has a UHF radio that I can at least demonstrate what I'm going to do. There. Hello. Merry Christmas. And the happiest of New Year's. All right, I need an air supply connected. Copy. Hello. Actually, I wonder if they have an observers here. Can I join the observer slot? No, I cannot. All right. So we're just going to practice together in here. All right, so I can't join an observer slot in 104th, so we're just going to practice in here. Uh, All right, so you're going to have to give me a minute. Yeah, you're going to have to give me a minute. I have to go take a shower. I woke up very early after a late night, so I'll be right back. Fair enough. I want by three. We want air. Copy. And we're spooling. Twelve percent. I hit my igniter switch right over here. Fifteen stable. Introduce the fuel. Shut the canopy. Watch this temp. It's okay to go over the operational red limit, but not the, uh, the maximum. That's no bueno.
and temps have fallen. Tell them to apply some more air. Copy. And that off. Hey, there's the frames we're looking for. <laughs> okay, igniters first, gas second. There's the flow spike, there's the temp spike. Trending up, temp stable. Pressure's good. Hydro pressure's coming up. Temp's falling, RPM stable. Nozzle's nominal. Full flow stable, pressure's coming down. All right. Gotta remember to set that to normal oxygenation. So, you turn your radio on. Actually, I'm gonna put this back on main monitor and reconnect a radio. Alright, so you can see here, I'm on 205. I'm actually connected to Buddy Spike right now, not to the 104th. So I'm not going to try and transmit on any of these, I'm just going to have this thing down here so you can see what the overlay looks like when you're doing business with the actual radio in a jet that's clickable. Volume controls that slider, works as advertised. Your squelch function is just that. Tone just transmits a tone on that frequency. You'll see both has you monitoring guard as well, which means that this radio is listening to 205, 205, and 243 simultaneously. 243 is the guard frequency in the uniform. Qmaster, I think we probably could, but I don't want to pollute their TeamSpeak or their uh, simple radio server with our chatter because we're not participating in, in Blue Flag right now. I just don't want to use it in a spirit that it's not intended. So, 251, we might actually get chatter from Buddy Spike right now, potentially. I turn that off. I'm no longer monitoring 243 and 251. Now I'm just listening to 251. If I went to transmit, I would transmit on 251. And that's that. 251 is going to be our 122.8 as from that sky vector chart. And I can pull this up and figure out where the deuce I am, which is, no, oh, no, I'm not at Novo, I am at Anapa. So I scroll through these pages, this was right shift K brings this up by the way. And then the brackets scroll left and right. Left bracket, right bracket. So I come up to Anapa, and I look around, figure out where I'm at. I am facing southwest, and I've got hangers on my left, and nothing to my north. So if I were facing southwest and had hangers to my north, and had a runway that ran parallel to me, I would have to be right about here. So, my first announcement would be... Let's see, who, who am I? I should probably verify that first. Who am I? Basher. Basher is the call sign I went with. You can change your call sign in, in DCS in the multiplayer menu in the top right corner before you join the server. So my transmission, if I, I were going to cue the radio, then this little green light would show up here. Anapa traffic, Basher 2-1, taxiing apron east via echo, hold short 2-2, two -two, close pattern work, Anapa.
Hey, I remembered to do that before he complained at me. Copy. I turn my lights on so people have a better chance of not hitting me. And I taxi as indicated. Generally speaking, I'm only going to want to make the one call. Because most of the time the airport's not busy enough to merit more than one call. But you also want you want to announce any time you're getting onto or off of a runway. Alright, 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 Admiral. And you should not expect to hear anything in return. I'm just going to switch that just in case I get in the habit and cue the mic. And I'm going to turn this off now. And I'm going to turn this off. There's the frames. Alright. If for whatever reason the, the runway is not painted on this one, for example, I can look down here and see that this little line with me perpendicular to the runway is closest to 2-1. That means we're looking at runway 2-1. And since I've looked both ways, I see that there's someone already on the runway. He's hauling oats. So you pull up to hold short, look around. The mirage, as Lumber and Ralphie would say. Okay, there's nobody else down there. Nobody else around here. behind me, don't see a whole lot. Check the pattern, and especially the base to final turn for the runway you're on. Make sure you look up over your shoulder, because anyone making left traffic, which is the standard traffic, is going to be flying right over here to right about there, where they make their perch turn, and they descend base, and then turn final, and come in and land right here. Once again, if I want to verify... I'm on runway 21, really. Okay, it's on. They're calling it 22, so we'll use runway 22. Anapa traffic basher 21, holding short of 22 at Echo, taking the active close pattern left traffic Anapa. So number one. Make sure you don't see some other stuff. We're on 104, so we use the left side of the runway. Theory being, we can operate both sides simultaneously. Laps full, power's coming in. RPM's coming up. Temps have spiked. Low spike. Burner's light. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing. Positive ray, gears up. I'm a little too high. Anapa traffic, Basher 21 turning left crosswind and downwind, runway 22 Anapa. Where's everybody at? You guys in 104th yet? Hello? Susu Atari, they're part of the Dive Plane F-15 mod. So there's nobody else that's been talking on this frequency. I don't see any of their aircraft operating. I'm not going to announce midfield downwind. I 
In Appa traffic, Vasher 2-1, left base, runway 2-2 in Appa. You could also announce your type of aircraft, which would actually be more helpful than your call sign. That way people know what kind of aircraft to look for and roughly how fast it's going to be going when they're looking for it. An Appa traffic, Vasher 2-1, F-5, turning left base to final, runway 2-2 in Appa. Little slow, little below glide slope here. And I'm going to use the left side. Because that's the local standard operating practice. In theory, doing it this way, everybody would use the middle of the runway. Positive rate, there's the gear. There's a thousand and out of the burners. Try and return. Anapa traffic, Basher 2 1, left crosswind, runway 2 2, Anapa. Overflew my altitude here. I'm looking for 1500 feet for pattern work. No chill. Anapa traffic turning left down when runway 22 in Anapa. Somebody else just uh, bustering out, doing their thing. Anapa traffic, Basher 21 F5, left midfield down when runway 22 in Anapa. A little late on the announcement, but not terrible. Okay, about 1,600 feet to account for airport elevation. Gives me just a little bit of buffer there. An Traffic Basher 21, left base, runway 22, Anapa. What happened there? is that I was thinking instead of talking when I was cueing the mic, and that is not good. I should have thought about what I was doing and what I was going to say. Like right here, I'm going to talk about base to final. An Appa Basha 2-1 F5, left base to final, runway 2-2, two, two, uh, two mile final now, An Appa. Carried a lot of speed. There's the float. Positive rate, there's the gear. The most awkward radio time? What are you talking about, Moose? Thank you for the follow. An Appa traffic, Basher 21 F5, left crosswind and downwind turn. Runway 22 in Appa. In a smaller, slower plane, you would make squared off turns. I'm not doing that because I'm lazy. OK, 
Okay, looking for my altitude. Converging with the runway a little bit. Got my spacing back. An Alpha Traffic Basher 21 F5 left base and final turn, two mile final, runway 22 in Alpha. Yeah, everyone says uh once in a while, but the goal is to never say uh and never have dead time while you're on the radio. That's that's what Moose Rider is on about. Radio time is very valuable, okay, like runway time. Take, uh, F-15, taking off runway 04, departing west. An op traffic basher 21 F-5, one mile final, runway 22 in Appa. float. Positive rate in gear. It really does, Tuna Tuck. If you carry too much energy into it, it'll just keep on flying. Anapa traffic, Basher 21 F5, left crosswind, runway 22 Anapa. Socialism demands it. Has Her Majesty not gotten around to giving you your copy yet? Did who just fail what hard wins? An Alpha Traffic Basher 2 1. Left downwind to beam the numbers, preparing to turn base and final. Touch and go. Runway 2 2 in Alpha. Those pauses are bad. I should have spit it out. An Alpha Traffic Basher 2-1, turning left base and final, runway 2-2 in Alpha. Anapa traffic, Basher 21 F5, one mile final, touch and go. Left traffic, Anapa. Unlimited low approach. Boop. Positive rate, there's the gear. Scat, it's just a little anemic on the power, but it's a lot of fun to dogfight. Yeah, I need some aloe for that burn. Scat was fighting the good fight on the missiles there, and I've missed a call. Anapa traffic, Basher 21 F5, left downwind, runway 22 Anapa.
Okay, there's somebody on the active. An Apa traffic. Basher 21 F5 left downwind to beam the numbers, preparing to turn base 22 Anapa. Anapa traffic, Basher 21F5, two mile final, runway 22, touch and go, Anapa. Chairman, you should be able to join this channel without a drag. Traffic Basher 21 F5 left crosswind runway 22 and up. And up a traffic Basher 21 F5 left downwind runway 22 and up. Anapa traffic, Basher 21 turning left base, runway 22. Uh, Anapa traffic, Basher 21, one mile final, runway 22, touch and go, Anapa. <laughs> I imagine that would make him salty there, Scat. Stop that. You hurt the fields. Anapa traffic, Basher 2-1 turning left crosswind and downwind, one way 2-2 Anapa.
You're down, three green, no red, flaps full. Nobody else in the pattern. Don't see anyone else out flying. Don't know where they all went. A little slow. Too bad. A little bit. A little low. Anapa traffic, Vasher 2-1 turning left base, runway 2-2, two, two, full stop, Anapa. So changing my announcement to full stop this time means I'm going to be on the runway for longer and using the full length to roll out. That would not be inaccurate, Guard Dog. Anapa traffic, Basher 2 1, 2 mile final, runway 2 2 Anapa. Anapa traffic, Martina 15 inbound runway 22, 50 miles out to the east, full stop. Good transmission. Not as much runway here as I thought. Anapa traffic, Basher 2-1, clear 2-2 two -two at Alpha, taxi Mike Delta for hold short 2-2, two -two. Anapa. So I just said, hey, I'm over here, I'm taxiing here and here, and I'm going to hold short right there. Anyone else flying here should have the airport diagram, and as such, they should know roughly where to look for me. Yeah, yeah, the casual underperformance. Base, Paul. Anapa traffic, Martina 15, turning left, uh, final. Runway 22. Anapa, Montana 15, going around. Terrific on the runway. True flight, it, it should work elsewhere. It depends on who has a server set up for it. I think we could actually use Buddy Spike server on this uh, 104th server, but I don't want to clutter their server with traffic not related to Blue Flag. Anybody have any radio brevity questions? There's a link down below. Someone can oh, no, drop the link in chat if they would like. Base. Correction, uh, crosswind. So he said left base, and I immediately looked up there because if runway 22 is 180 degrees from where I'm going, and the base to final turn would put him up there. When he changed it, 
I knew that he was going to be on the crosswind side, which is up there. I suppose I can get rid of that. What does the fox say, scat? On Alpha Martina 15, turning left, downwind. There you go. Thanks, Tux. Thanks there, uh, Tux. I'm looking for traffic. Don't see him. Also looking for traffic on the ground. Nobody's going to taxi in front of me. I'm not going to taxi in front of anyone else. Still don't see the traffic. Yeah, True Flight, that's all I'm using so far. AIM-1, or excuse me, the Aeronautical Information Manual 4-1-9. <laughs> Get you some pizza, Scat. An up more time, 15, turning left base. Okay, now he's turning left base, which means he's right there. See how easy that is to spot someone when you know where to look for them? What, there's no pizza in the UK? Take an hour? Shouldn't they be faster in the UK? And at least you have them. I don't even get, uh... On Alpha Martina 15, turning get up, final runway 22, full stop. So he's turning final, which means he should be on the extended runway center line. Where he is. He rolled out. Added some power to establish glide slope, and now he's set. He's rolling in, he's about two miles final. So you have your upwind component, or your departure component, if you're taking off. Your crosswind turn and, and leg. Your downwind turn and leg. You get out here 45 degrees off the center line, roughly your base turn and leg, and then your final turn and leg. Car dog. <laughs> America freedom. Roy Grimm, welcome. So yeah, people asking about the brevity a lot, but there's not a whole lot I can do to help with that. That uh, that index gives you everything you need to know. Just read through, pick out a few, and start using them. And then when you get comfortable using those, pick out a couple more and start using them. See, I'm going to switch this to main monitor, and I'm going to click, nope, that's not the one I wanted, click this one. Thanks again, Tux, for posting that. Drag this over here. No, I'm Pull this down. Let's down. Let's see. Actually, I'm going to make sure I stop short first. And I'm going to shut my light off so I'm not blinding anybody. I've still got my lights on so people can see me and avoid me. Turn this back up. A slash A. Control F. A slash A.
contacts within a single group that maneuver outside of group criteria inside briefed no new picture range. As fragged, exactly as stated by the air tasking order. Alarm. And you, you can just go through here and find all sorts. There's stuff like alligator, link 11, tattle. Abort, that's pretty obvious. Electronic warfare generally doesn't apply. Not yet, anyway, huh, Scat? Huh? Huh? And no, I don't have Sweeper's Hydro mod. What is that, Scat? Does it unfuck the Hydro so you don't die instantly? Bandit! An aircraft identified as an enemy in accordance with theater identification criteria. Does not necessarily imply direction or authority to engage. No, you need like seven PDFs at a time, Admiral. It's more like PDF Bukaki than it is anything else. That was not the most professional thing I could have said for a learning environment, but that's okay because this is my stream. I'm going to do it that way. <laughs> yeah, that is the most accurate that I can imagine it being. Well, I would hope this is in accordance with uh, with that, at least as of 05, there, Moose Rider. And it bonsai. Let's find out. If, hypothetically speaking... I didn't know what launch and decide tactics were. I could just Google that rather than ask someone. So Moose Rider, would the call be Box 3 Banzai? Bandit, 7,000 track south? Are the official A10C tutorials thorough enough to learn every detail, sir? I don't know, I don't fly an A10. I'm guessing they're more than good enough to fly the DCS version. I think that the A-10 cockpit has changed enough from the time that these were written to present that it would probably be pretty hard to just hop in and fly the A-10 uh, based on knowledge gained in DCS. System bent. So HUD bent, I can't see. Hydro bent, I can't fly. And then that's when it says hydraulics failure and you eject. Birds negate bittersweet. Potential blue on blue flatricide. Flatricide. On a blue flatricide. Blind. No visual contact with friendly aircraft ground position opposite of visual. So, you're blind. What about tally? I wonder what tally could be. Apparently it's not in here. Why is my search function not working today? I'm almost positive Tally is in here. Yeah, control F, Tally. Why is this not working? L, L, Y. No idea. Tally, sighting of a target. Non-friendly aircraft, landmark, or enemy position. So Tally the mountain. Hey, Zorbic. How's it going? That would be the most accurate call. Sometimes fighters use it, sometimes they don't. Depends on how busy they are and how much info they want to pass. Yep. There you go. Forever no joy, cult. 
forever no joy. Two's blind. Opposite of no joy. I wonder what no joy might be. Oh, for fuck's sake. N O base. J. Jeez. M. N. N. No, no joy. It's gonna work here now. Oh, now it'll find it. Something's wrong with my PDF viewer. It needs an update. Anyway, no joy. Aircrew does not have visual contact with the target bandit landmark opposite of Tally. So people ask the difference between blind and no joy, or tally and visual. Visual just implies friendly. Tally implies hostile, or landmark. Cherubs. This is super frustrating. That's not working for me. Hopefully it's working for you guys to be able to just uh, search that. Height of a friendly aircraft and hundreds of feet above surface. Hundreds of feet AGL. Two cherubs. Three cherubs. Chicks. Friendly aircraft. Visual chicks. So yeah, everyone wants to know more and more about brevity, but you can only learn this on your time and practice. Do your best to use as much of it as you can, and when you're comfortable using that, read through here again. I realize it's a little boring and there's a lot of pages here, but you read through, cleared to engage, air to surface. All right, cleared to engage, cleared hot, essentially the same thing. Attack platform will provide attack complete call to JTAC indicating completion of the ordnance release. Ripperoni. Looks like server restart. But yeah, you go through here, read stuff. Charlie Cheddarmark. Or champagne. Champagne's in here. Air to air, a picture label of three distinct groups. So three sets of fighters, which we can define group here in just a second too, with two in the front and one behind. Group names should be north lead group and south lead group or west lead group and east lead group and trail group. So let's find Huh, a group, air to air, any number of air contacts within three nautical miles includes an altitude discrimination. So for the US, apparently we don't discriminate altimeter or altitudes. If they're stacked on top of each other, that's the same group. NATO True Flight, let's go look at the audio settings. Seventy, eighty-six, seventy, seventy-three, seventy, and zero. 
G breath effect and unchecked here like in helmet. Because I like the noise. Interesting. It's interesting that we don't discriminate altitude, that we just combine aircraft flying, say, at flight level 200 and some guy at two shrubs at the same azimuth and range from the radar, they're the same group. Hey, Norse. Gopher. Gopher's not going to apply in DCS because we're not going to get complicated enough to have standard ingress, egress vectors towards airports or friendlies or crossing a DLZ or that. Oh, gotcha, True Flight. One, way, one quick fix, True Flight, if it's just the jet that is loud, is just close the canopy. Left side of the cockpit, kind of under the dash. Greyhound. Friendly ground attack cruise control. Gridiron. Yeah. You can go through here and find all sorts of stuff that you take forever to get proficient with. And I'm sure Moose Rider could make endless fun of me when I screw this up and don't use the proper brevity. The advantage to this is that this is not field artillery and that you don't have a sergeant ready to berate you with a boot in the ass at all times. If you screw up and use more more plain terms, as long as the message gets across, your communications are correct. But the point of brevity is to get that message across with the fewest words and especially time on the radio possible. Interesting, True Flight. Is it a matter of voice balance versus aircraft volume, or is it just a total volume thing? If it's a total volume thing, go to your... Um, your volume thing in the corner and open the volume mixer with a right click and then just drag down your DCS slider. Chester, this is already in my description right here. It's at the bottom of the page. Look down there. There's a picture and it's fairly obvious when you read what's on the picture. I, I'm my my curiosity, True Flight, is if it's a if it's a bias thing. If you've got all of this is aircraft volume and all of this is voice volume, and you can't hear the voice because of the aircraft volume, then just turning down the whole DCS is not going to help. You're going to have to quit your mission, go into the options, and turn the volume down. And in that case, I would set them somewhere in here. Anyway, cancel this. We'll go. Not going. To, let's go back to multiplayer. Find 104th. Norse Gunner, I have not because I have continually been expanding my brevity vocabulary. And every time I learned something new, I would consider it must-have. So the list would just perpetually be growing. <laughs> I appreciate you saying so, Moose Rider, but uh, there's always room for improvement. And I would expect to be harassed by someone who knew better, because that's going to make me better. Did you click OK afterwards, True Flight? It's an odd distinction, but if you don't click OK specifically, if you click Cancel or Close or anything else, it doesn't help. Okay, so 104th is not up yet. Um, 
I think I'm going to go ahead and wind down on the radio chat. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in, hanging out, learning. I appreciate that everyone who's here wanted to take the time to learn a little bit more about talking on the radio. I've seen a significant improvement in Blue Flag. I was noticing last night, copy 104th just crashed, thank you. I was watching Weldstream last night, flying in Blue Flag, and was hearing good radio calls going to and from airfields. I was hearing good radio calls from an AWACS, which Moose Rider, I actually suspected you were playing AWACS last night. I think the guy's name was Laser Light. He was in Acting Magic, and that's what made me think it probably wasn't you, is because you chose the call sign Magic. But, uh, yeah, Cosmic. And this was just practice for the purpose of the Learning Sim Sunday. I'm going to be in Blue Flag, and you'll see me streaming Blue Flag through the next up until the 14th, I guess. So there's no reason you can't come in there and practice in there. Uh, just make sure you do your radio checks on 251. That's one thing I didn't stress earlier. Don't hop on to the main frequency where Moose Rider would be operating IRL and be like, hey guys, can you hear me? Because that channel is dedicated to passing critical information. If you need to make sure your radio is working, you need to do that by trying to contact Tower or trying to contact your friend on a discrete frequency to verify the radio is working. Um, like in the F5, it's only got one UHF radio in the game. And so to pass flight information, we open TeamSpeak on the side and basically just give ourselves a second radio using TeamSpeak. But we still monitor the GCI frequencies in game th through simple radio. So that's that. Okay. Last second rant there about uh, when to check in, when to do comms checks. Just I don't know why it's such a huge pet peeve of mine, but when people hop on to a frequency that's dedicated for passing time critical information and they switch frequencies and immediately shout radio check with no regard for who's been talking about what prior, oh, that's frustrating. And if you listen to liveatc.net for a busy airport's approach frequency, you will hear that happen from VFR traffic fairly often. There's student pilots out there, and I'll, I'll say we. Technically, I've got my commercial rating, but I'm still going to consider myself a, a student pilot for as low time as I am. We, collectively, the student pilots, not knowing any better, will tune frequency and nervously immediately begin talking if we don't already hear someone talking. But it might have actually just been a brief pause in someone else's conversation. And so suddenly we queue up and start talking about, oh, we're a, a Cessna. Um, uh, we're like uh, 15 miles from this airport and uh, we're headed to uh, here and we're at this altitude and uh, we like flight following. And the controller is just sitting there trying to pull his hair out through his asshole. Like he's so angry. Um, if you guys are amused by that sort of thing, follow live, or not, 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 not live, ATC memes on Facebook. Yeah, it had to be a Cessna or, or a Piper. Yeah, and don't shout break, break, break. Good one, cause. Good, good reminder. Don't shout break, break, break unless it is critical to absolutely everyone. Like if there's a nuclear bomb going off, that's when you shout break, break, break. If somebody is merged in front of you and you see they're about to get their ass shot off, you don't have time to tell anyone to do anything to help. It's saying break, break, break wastes valuable time anyway. Yeah, ATC Memes does a lot of funny skits, and they uh, caricature, caricaturize how all that stuff goes, so that they exaggerate how bad some of those calls are, and they do radio skits as though they're uh, actually on the radio, and it's it's hilarious. Hold on, I'll just pull up their, their hoodie here. ATC memes. Yep, we'll search that. 65,000 people like this. Right. That one pilot who wastes valuable time you will never get back. I am going to copy link location. I'm going to drop it here. 
Jaster, the funniest radio call that I have ever transmitted or received was not in the air. It was a radio check, and this is a standard operating procedure for the Army. We did a radio check at 2 o'clock in the morning in Afghanistan, and I used the Herbert the Pervert voice at my CO's instruction. All right, so I'm going to listen to this. I just linked it in chat. 17,000, uh, Jordan 7796. Hey, Bill, you bring and the board Jordan out? Jordan 7279, no, proceed direct from Losey. Contact New York Center 132.2. Take care. Don't be this guy. Have a great night, Jordan 7796. Harrisburg Center, this is Cessna November 1615 Alpha. Cessna 1615 Alpha, this is Harrisburg Approach. The altimeter at Harrisburg 29 or 9 or 2. Squawk 5341, and I didn't say request. Uh, Harrisburg Center, uh, this is Seth, the Dude, th you know, these one, student pilots, five, man, they are getting we ridiculous. Would like, uh, flight following. He's calling me Harrisburg uh, I haven't Center. really decided to wear yet, but <laughs> could you uh, repeat our squawk code Harrisburg. for Cessna 1615 Alpha? Harrisburg Center? Cessna yeah, 15 Alpha, I'm squawk okay. 5341, and I didn't. We have a lot of fun there. Right? Uh, this is crazy. Center, squad you know, 5341. The amount of VFR traffic we've had in the past few weeks has been completely go. unprecedented. I mean, I don't think we've VFR. ever had this many VFR guys. So, well, you, you I know, but it's, like, it's, it's new. It's unbelievable. There's so many VFR guys. Like I mean, crazy, man. Uh, I'm sorry, I was in the landline. Call and approach, say again. Cherokee 7238 Foxtrot. They're doing something right. They're buying Cherokee 7238 Foxtrot, Harrisburg Approach. Go ahead. We're about 14 miles to the south, to the west of the Harrisburg DOI on the 3,500 feet. We'd like to go to the DOI and do a little work around it. We'll stay at 3,500 if that works for you. Cherokee 38 Foxtrot maintain VFR squawk 0303, the Harrisburg altimeter 29 or 9 or 2. 0303 for the DOI. Really? That's a 1-5 Alpha Harrisburg Approach, radar contact. Five miles southeast to the capital city airport, 5,500. Say type Cessna requested altitude and destination. Uh, I would like to uh, Harrisburg Center, Roger on the radar contact. Uh, Cessna 1615 Alpha is a uh, Cessna. Uh, Cessna 1615 Alpha. You guys got to hear this. Uh, Cessna 15 Alpha. What type of Cessna are you? 150, 152, 170? I just need to know for your flight plan, sir. It, it might be, too. Uh, yeah, we're a Cessna 172, one, Cessna 15 Alpha. You're gonna get a Cessna 15 Alpha, Roger. Dude, this is fucking so stupid. And, uh, Harrisburg Center, uh, oh, here we go. We're, we're looking up, and there's a lot of, like, big jets. They're, they're headed out. Looks like they're headed towards, uh... This guy's unbelievable, man. What is he talking uh, about right now? Uh, say, uh... 190 carry the one. Looks like they're headed towards east. What is the edge? This guy's out of control. Uh, they're going to be uh, descending to altitude. <laughs> we, should we know about that? Uh, Cessna 15 Alpha negative. Those are uh, Philadelphia arrivals, and uh, they shouldn't be a factor. By the way, uh, once again, this is Harrisburg approach. Just, just to verify, we are not a center. Just, uh, just to clarify. Wow. Uh, yeah, I keep doing that. My apologies, Harrisburg Approach. My apologies. Uh, thanks, Center. One five Alpha. Oh my God. <laughs> I know. There should be a limit. It's supposed to be. Limit. Limit. It's supposed to be... He didn't even know how to work his own radio. No. So this Tell this me, personifies where a lot of the. Uh... Guys out and fuck something up, and it's gonna make yeah. us look bad. Before you know it, it's gonna end up on that fucking ATC meme site or oh, some yeah, shit. Yeah, you know, it's, yeah, gonna, yeah, it's gonna be ridiculous. Uh, Harrisburg Center one six one five Alpha. There he goes again with the fucking Center. Harrisburg Center. There is no Harrisburg. Kilo, Charlie, X-Ray, Yankee, Where and is, we're inbound for landing, says the 1-5 Alpha. I have him on, yeah, I have my, uh, 1-5 Alpha, yeah, I know where you are because I have radar identified your aircraft, so uh, you don't have to have to say your position. Also, you don't have to use your full call sign anymore. I think I'll fucking forget that one. Um, anyway, uh, I'm probably going to have to, going to have nightmares now, actually. Uh, says the 1-5 Alpha, say requested altitude. Dude, I'm telling you, be careful. Um, alright, we would like I know, to go I'm to, to Kilo, Juliet, yeah, Yankee, Oscar, <laughs> Um, that's what's where we're going, oh, going now. Out of and that's, it looks like that's the Manassas Airport. Oh, nice. That's so not even the right airport. Uh, correction, 10,500. Uh, 1-5 Alpha, just be advised, you gave me the identifier for Leesburg. Uh, Manassas is uh, Hotel Echo Foxtrot. Just uh, confirm that's where you're going? Yeah, my mistake. I do it all the time. You should hear me confuse my kids' names. It's even worse. <laughs> all right, 1-5 Alpha, I'll tell you what. Proof for now, 8,500 would be a good altitude. Uh, and also just yeah, confirm you have the weather down sure. there in uh, Manassas. Uh, negative center, we oh, only have one fuck? radio. Request one permission radio. to leave frequency That's to get weather. Idea. 
Wow. Says one five alphas. Don't worry about it. Like I'll tell you what, I'll we'll get the weather here. Manassas weather wins three five. Live ATC, ATC memes. If you happen to watch this, thank you for making these things. I hope you don't mind that I'm rebroadcasting right now the audio because this perfectly illustrates why you don't want to be this guy. Three four right are in use. Alright, clear to land, runway 3-4 left, no, or 3-4 <laughs> Clear to land. No, Cessna 1-5 uh, no, uh, Alpha, negative, negative on the clearance there, I just gave you the weather. Uh, they are using runway 3-4 left and 3-4 right, but uh, you'll have to wait a little bit longer to be clear to land, sir. Alright, yeah, sorry about that, we'll, we'll uh, disregard that 1-5 Alpha. We are now, uh, looks like one zero miles south of Kilo Sierra, correction, Kilo Charlie Yankee X-Ray. And we're inbound for landing down there at uh, Hotel Echo Foxtrot. <laughs> and uh, we just want to let you know. <laughs> okay, 1-5 Alpha. Roger, uh, like I said, I know where you are because I have you on radar. Uh, you don't have to use your full call sign anymore either. Yeah, there you go, Jesse. He keeps saying All right, yeah, sorry, Senator. Uh, we keep, just keep doing center. that. We'll get it one of these days here. Why but does he keep uh, things squared away here. We're, we're headed towards the direction of the airport, guys, and their GPS and stuff. Fucking unbelievable. Like All right, now we got everything squared away here. Cessna 1-5 Alpha, resume on no, navigation from Manassas. Airport. You can descend at pilot's discretion yeah, now. Okay, we'll navigate and we are descending as soon as we can. What the fuck? Uh, one five alpha. Yeah, like uh, the one five alpha uh, Harrisburg approach. You don't have to send now. You can descend whenever you want. No, so Dude, so so one five alpha. We found some good out here. We're just gonna go ahead and terminate the flight following. Just some practice work on our own for a bit. I appreciate your help with our student. We'll squat one two zero zero and we'll talk to you on the way back in next month. <laughs> what the fuck was that? He was he had an instructor in there the whole time. Oh, you got you got wrapped. Dude, I, I, how could he let his student do that? <laughs> how could he let his student? Good job, Harris Center. Shut the fuck up. Dude, they, I'm telling you, man, they pull these tapes, they're gonna hit the internet. Oh, yep. no, <laughs> so it's not exaggerated, Moose Rider. Totally Perfect. Good to know. All right. Once again, that was ATC memes. I just rebroadcasted that because it perfectly illustrates who not to be on the radio. That was the whole point of doing this Learning Sim Sunday. Thank you for watching. Once again, we're going to watch the LSS intro as an outro, and then I'm going to tack on mine just because I'm still really proud of it. And then I'm going to transition back to here and uh, maybe try and do some blue flag. See you in the skies. I'm going to be on Simple Radio.